Bam. How's it going, everybody? Ben from Budget Pokemon here. I have once again a whole lot of letters for another Mail Day video. Now, this will be my last Mail Day video for now. I'll probably do uh, one of these in the future, but for now, this will be the last one. You know, it's getting kind of expensive. Um, I just threw everything here. Let me just get everything off screen once again. And I guess I kind of want to start with the with the packages. So let's start with this one first. Let me zoom in a bit. Okay, let's cut this one open first. I have mostly forgotten what everything, what, what most of this stuff is in here. I'll be honest, um, since it has been so long since I first, this was one of the first ones that arrived. Um, the very first one I'll probably open after this one. So I have mostly forgotten what's in these as, as per usual. I also have to cut this open. Where the exacto knife comes in handy. Very, very nice. But this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be awesome. Very securely packaged. And let's open this envelope. I think this is one of the greater cards. I have two greater cards in here, and here we go. Another, another golden mew from Celebrations. You know, I already have one of these. And, well, now I have two. This is an awesome card. And I'm really happy to, to own a second copy of this one. Whoops. Let's put you over here into the frame and okay let's open this one next so this is the package that arrived first i think this arrived like one month ago and i haven't opened it yet because well i just didn't want to spoil anything for me so let me just cut this open right here and then oh yeah very nice guess we have to cut it open right here as well and oh yeah hang on let me tell you how much i paid for the mu while i Cut this open. There we go. So for the Mew, I paid 110 euros. And the cheapest option on card market, at least, is currently 130. Okay, so that's a 20, 20 euro W. Um, here is the other graded card that I alluded to, and that's also in the, in the thumbnail of the video. It's this one. The Umbreon Gold Star, also from, from Celebrations. I've been picking up um, a few Celebrations cards here and there. Mainly the ones that I really wanted. I mean, Mew, you can't go wrong with Mew. And the Umbreon is also super, super cool. And it's a PSA 10. So this one I bought off eBay and I paid £100 for it. Um, which is about €120. Euros. That was with shipping and with um with tax and right now the cheapest option with shipping and tax is about 130 pound no 120 pounds so what's that like 130 euros 135 euros so definitely definitely another w for this one and um, what do we open next let's just open this next let's just grab random letters and hope for the best i suppose I know there are a, um, a few cards in here that are actually rather cheap. You know, it doesn't have to be expensive all the time. So, some cards in here are, are rather cheap. We got a... Okay, we've got a bit of extra stuff here. I see a German card. It's a, it's a Bagon. A German Bagon. If it would focus, there you go, it's too shiny. Don't recognize that set. Might have to look that up. And what is this? A few stickers. Okay. And here is the main event, though. Okay, just as I said, there aren't going to be that that many expensive cards in here. We have another one from, from Celebrations, if I can get this out. The Charizard from Celebrations as well. You know, I had this card in, in German. I pulled it from an Ultra Premium collection and ended up selling it together with the Metal cards. And now I have it back in English, at least this one. I still don't have the metal cards, probably don't want, don't want to pick those up anyways. But having this now is actually really nice. Let me get some sleeves. So, for the Charizard, I paid 102 with shipping. And I guess the cheapest option right now on card market is 98 with shipping. So that's a bit of a loss, but, you know, it's still fine. I would say that's within margin of error, if you want to call it that. But still, really happy about this card. This look they were great in my for my Charizard collection. Here we have another one. I think this one also contains some cards that are 
kind of expenses. This is all the way from, from Spain. Man, I love this. Carts from all over Europe. I also have one from, also have an envelope from France, multiple from, from, um, from the Netherlands, also one from Greece. Man, it's so, so nice being able to shop all around, all around Europe without having to worry about anything, you know, tax and stuff. Since you already pay that at purchase, I suppose. Let's open right here. Don't like the the package with the with the paper, but oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Ah, okay. I just took a peek. It's the Glacion. The Glacion V alternate art. Another alternate art down. You know, I'm almost done with my main two pages of alternate arts. Man, the Glacion does look pretty beautiful. I also have the, the Glacion VMAX in here somewhere. So that'd be, that'd be nice once we find that one. But first, let's leave you up, put you right here, and grab another letter. Let's just grab one of these, I don't want to say generic ones, but I feel like this is going to contain um, one of the cheaper cards that I bought from this. So hang on, let me tell you how much I paid for the, for the Glacion. Okay, so for the Glacion, I paid 93 with shipping. And the cheapest option right now on card market appears to be 90 euros with sh with shipping. Okay, another another little loss, but I'm totally fine with it. The card looks beautiful. Card looks absolutely beautiful. Okay, taped to it. Oh, here we go. We've got a spoiler here. We've got a spoiler. The Great Tusk. The Great Tusk. A pretty cheap card. We also got something extra, maybe for some protection. And we have a we have a sticker on the back here of Sonia. That's pretty nice. That's pretty well packaged, though. Not gonna lie. I kind of like it. Kind of, kind of like it. Let me get this out of the sleeve as well. Okay, there we go. That was more difficult than I want to admit. But here we go. Great Tusk EX from um, Scarlet and Violet, of course. Let me see how much I paid for this. This wasn't as expensive. I paid 15 euros with shipping for this. Actually, I thought it was going to be 10. Huh. Interesting. Um, cheapest option with shipping appears to be 15 as well. So I think I think that's no loss, but also no W for this one. But just look at this illustration, man. This illustration is so well done. So, so well done. I really love this card. Let me put that into a sleeve as well. We might have to zoom out once we once we fill out the, the area down here as well. But let's grab let's grab another bubble envelope, I suppose. Let's grab this one. This small one with a nice sticker at the back. Um let me cut this off. Let's see where the card is. Let me try to feel it. I think it's in um in whatchamacallit? In like cardboard anyways so let me just cut off the oh there we go <laughs> I I did cut it kind of close there eh? Ah, uh, that was kind of close but luckily it is it is sandwiched between two two cardboard layers very secure oh brother this is gonna be a an amazing card this is another card that is featured on the on the thumbnail of this video also double sleeved I love it you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. And here we are. The Gengar VMAX from Fusion Strike. Man, I've opened so much Fusion Strike and never managed to pull anything good. Like literally nothing. And finally having this card now for the alternate art collection. This is gonna be, this is gonna look amazing in my binder. At some point, I do want to show off my binder. It's just not, not in a state where I would be, I guess, I guess I'm proud of the binder in a way, but I don't want to show it off right now, since it's still missing a few centerpieces, if you will. But at some point, I do promise, I promise at some point that I will show it off. Let's open another, another generic one right here. Another generic letter. There we go. We've got it open. God bless the exacto knife. And oh God, it's taped to the. Fr okay. This is this is what I don't like. I mean, yes, it's secure, 
But please do not tape it there. Man. Oh well. I guess I guess that's just a problem that just shouldn't exist. Oh, there's also a divider here for extra protection. I didn't even didn't even think of that. Adding um dividers in for extra protection. But there you go. Alright, sorry about that. So yeah, what I was saying. Both of the promo cards from the from the Scarlet and Violet Elite trainer boxes. Also really cheap, and these will be these will be featured in an in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. Let me just put these, I guess, over here. We might need to zoom out in a bit here. Actually, let me do that now. Okay, let me just see. So I paid 10 euros for both of them, including shipping. And current price, it's all really hard to tell since not many people have both of them. So I just say they're still 10 euros. That seems fair. Um, what do we open next? Let's open this one next from the from the Netherlands, another bubble bubble envelope. Um, how do I cut this open? This is this is taped very securely, so I guess I just I have to cut it open right here since this is not where the cart is. Very very securely. I didn't cut the cart. That is good. That is good. It's in a top loader, but still, you wouldn't really want to do that, even if it's in a top loader. You never know what these exacto knives. This is a really cool, a really really cool Gardevoir cart. Might actually be one of the coolest. It is from Steam Siege. And I do know a lot of people hate Steam Siege. But you have to admit that, as you're gonna see here, this card is, is amazing. Also, what is happening? Pull it out right here and show to the camera. Man! Yo, this looks even better in person. Not gonna lie. Holy moly, this card looks beautiful. It's God of War. It's also like doing a psychic attack. It looks like and it has Yveltal in the background. Man, these look amazing. These cards right here. And it is illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. So this just ticks all the boxes for me. It's God of War. It's a Gen 3 Pokemon. It's a full art, which is nice. And it's illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. This just ticks all the boxes. Um, let's go for... Actually, I have so many bubble envelopes. Let's go for this one next. I think this is also from... Yeah, this is also from the Netherlands. Man, so many, so many envelopes. Oh, hang on, I can actually rip this open. This is not like taped shut as... as securely. Very good. Very, very good. Where's my knife? Here it is. And we have a sleepy boy. We have a sleepy Tyranitar V. Man. This is also pretty cool. I also have the um, the Dragonite in here. So this is really, really nice. Oh yeah, hang on. Okay, my camera ran out of space, so I had to start this recording again. I think it just cut off while I was telling you the prices. So the prices for the God of War, um, I paid 60 with shipping. And cheapest option right now is 45. Um, that's from the UK though, so you have to add tax on that. And tax would be like, what, 9 euros or something like that, plus 6 for the advance payment from the Deutsche Post. So it would end up being like 1 euro cheap, cheaper or something like that. So let's just say it's 60 as well. Let's just take it at that. Okay, so for the Tyranitar, I paid 99 with shipping. And the cheapest option right now appears to be 95. So... I guess we'll take in a four euro, um, four euro loss, but you never know because some people don't post pictures. You have to ask them actively for for pictures of their cards. And if they're if they're OC, then I'd much rather go with a different option, even though I don't really mind. Most of my alternate arts are off centered. Um, let's open the the last generic one right here. The last generic um, white envelope. I think this is another cheap card, although I'm not too sure. Also, where is the card? Oh, it's hidden all the way in here. Come on. Okay, here we go. The Galate V from... Where is this from? Lost Origin. A trainer gallery card. Oh, oops. Almost let that fall. That wouldn't have been good. Uh, this is also one of the, the cheaper cards that I've bought. 
And this will also be featured in, in an upcoming video, no, another um, collecting on a budget video, if you will. Um, I paid with shipping, I paid 10 euros for this. And the cheapest option right now appears to be, at least for me, from Germany, also 10 euros. Okay, so no loss, but also no W. But still, this is an amazing card. Man, oh man. I really like this one. I also have the... Do I have it? No, this, this is an upcoming, an upcoming card. I also bought the um, Superior V from, I think, Silver Tempest. You know, the one um, featuring Rosa. Um, but anyways, let's open this package from, or this parcel, this, this envelope, there we go, I finally have it. This envelope from, from Greece now. This has a, a really funny looking card in. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is, this is super goofy looking. I posted one copy of this card actually on, on Twitter a while ago. And now the second copy of this card is here. Actually, why did I just cut that off? That is unnecessary. I can just take the card out. I kind of want this to be a surprise. So that's why I'm like doing it backwards. Because once you see the card, once you see the card, you might laugh. Don't don't laugh. Don't laugh. It's a serious card, I promise you. But here you go. Let's let's just turn it around. It's an EVGX. You know, one of my earlier videos, I, I said I don't know which EV um, to add in the middle of the page for my binder for like all the, the EV alternate arts. And I ended up going with this one, with this EV. I mean, just look at the face. It looks super goofy, but I kind of love it. So for this, for this EV right here, I paid with shipping 27 euros. And the cheapest option right now with shipping is 33. So that's a nice, a nice cheeky W for this one. But you know, this is, this is super, super cool so goofy looking i love it let's put this let's put this up here i guess let's put the promos kind of overlapping and let's put the ev right there okay one last envelope and i actually have to show this off because this is actually for some reason it has a ton of stamps on it and i don't know why i have no idea these appear to be all four euros 40. This would be way too expensive for just shipping. So this must have been like an old envelope or something. Like I really, really don't know why it has that many stamps. Um, but anyways, anyways, I guess we'll cut it open. Uh, there isn't much in here. Look at this. It's like, it's just this and that big of an envelope. Let me cut this open without, you know, trying to, to cut the cards that are already on the table and of course i only cut the the paper layer and not the the bubble there we go okay so this is from this is from france if you know if you couldn't tell by um by the Champs elysees stamps up there and i actually haven't seen these cards before but i think this is from a shop from a french shop and I tend to I tend to trust those with their with their grading. Also, two two um, empty top loaders. That's nice for the for the top loader pile. Let's get let's get this one out first. I know exactly which two cards are in here, but I just don't know which is which. So let me just try to get this one out first and turn it around. It's the Glacion V Max. Man, I actually had this card. I I opened a German booster box from Evolving Skies, you know, after the after the initial um, release of Evolving Skies, and I actually ended up pulling this in in German back in the day. Ended up selling it though because at the time I didn't want any evolutions. You know, you win some, you lose some. Um, let me just get the the order open for this one. So for the Glacion, I paid. I guess 150 including shipping and the cheapest option right now it's kind of hard to tell uh so i guess 160 from another guy with shipping so we made a cheeky 10 euro w let's just say that oh thank god that didn't fall under the table and well, there we go this is this is a card i really like you know i love i love cards that feature pokemon in the background and this has a lot has a lot of them it has meryl it has pikachu what's this azumarill we also have a, um, what is this, a Pancham? Super, super nice. 
Okay. Let's put you together with the with the glacion up here, I guess. Or eh, let's put you down here. Right. And the last card for for this mail day. The last card for this mail day. This should be the other sleepy boy. It's of course the Dragonite V. The sleepy Dragonite V, and I do have to say, um, the grading or like the the condition is as they said it is near mint it looks pretty good honestly i don't see any defects no it looks looks really clean centering isn't perfect but it's better than i would expect from cards i hadn't seen before and you really can't go wrong with with these man oh man this is so much this this brings me so many steps closer to finally completing my alternate art collection for my binder you have no idea Unfortunately, though, I'm still missing a bunch of cards, and seeing as this is the last 1,000 euro mail day for now, for a for a long while, I'm pretty sure the next mail day is gonna be around Christmas, like the next one 1,000 euro mail day. I have to chill for a bit here. Spent way too much money already on Pokemon cards, but hey, these are awesome looking. I like them. I don't regret it one bit. Well, but I guess that does it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then a like would be greatly appreciated. Um, consider subscribing for more awesome content in the future. And I guess we'll try this end card system. So right here is a video that YouTube suggests that you would like. And right here is the sub button. You should, you should click this one first, and then you should click this one. But other than that, thank you for watching. Peace, peace.